Michael Ward, 56132 Parkview. Back in early August on election day, there was an incident that took place on the property of Mark Gennari, who is on the list today. Mrs. Manzella was involved in an incident along with her husband and former Chief Lehman's wife. The entire incident is on video. There's nothing missing. There's nothing absent. It's all on the videotape. Uh, the, the results of that all, first of all, which is absolutely shocking to me and I've had numerous people I run into in the township was, it's clearly on their assault, trespassing, destruction of property, theft. It all took place on his property. He got those signs and things legally. He painted them. There was a paint can kicked over his lawn. Two, a day or two later, he woke up in the morning. There were nails down his entire driveway. Who threw those? Who knows? The next day, his wife comes home in the afternoon with the kids in the car, and there's something with batteries and, and wiring on it made to look like a bomb. I guess someone doesn't like him. I might recall a Facebook posting I saw. Mrs. Manzella actually posted something about it, and I'm going to paraphrase it. It's a shame it's not like the good old days when you have a problem with somebody, you just take them out. And I can produce that document for anybody that would be interested in seeing it. What astounds me is our chief of police and Sergeant Daniels, who was the officer involved, he took original set of documents the day of the incident and 10 days later requested a second set. Matt's documents, document from the FOIA request, which I have, by the way, did not include both sets of documents. Where's the missing set of documents? What is Sergeant Daniels doing? Well, let's pick and choose what we want. They relied solely on one woman, as I, as I was told by Matt, a screaming woman in a red pickup truck that came running up, said, I saw it all, and I saw Matt attack Lehman's wife. Well, the problem is she didn't write that up in her police report at all. There was a, a battle for a sign is all, nothing about a fight or whatever else. When we do find out who she is through legal channels, we're going to make every intention to make sure that she gets properly prosecuted for, for falsifying a document. That is illegal to file a false report like that. And the fact is the videotape has the entire incident on it. All you residents watch it. Why was uh, Marina, who left earlier, I'm sorry she's not here today, why was she not brought in as a witness? She took the video of the whole stupid thing. You're talking about she, Marina from the patch? From the crotch hill. She was never consulted. The next door neighbor, who may or may not have videoed up, he was never talked to. But some screaming lady was enough for what was the recommendation from Sergeant Daniels and our chief, I might add. And I know it because I talked to him about it. Well, we recommended that Matt be prosecuted for assault and the other three for trespassing. What is going on in our police department? I challenge every resident in this township to watch that video, and you gotta be insane if you see it any other way. And if you don't, what planet are you from? Some friends of mine, we've, we suggested passing a hat, collecting up money, and we'll send, collect it all up, send it to Sergeant Daniels, and let him get an eye examination, and maybe a hearing test as well. Because for what I saw in those documents and what I read was an atrocity. Uh, I could not believe it. Yes, he is being followed, and let me serve notice on it. You're gonna get caught on video doing it. He was followed all the way to Auburn Hills with a Shelby Township police officer with it on the side of the car. There's no question it happened. His wife followed the other way. What's gonna be next? Are they gonna put a real bomb in his mailbox? Are they throw more nails in his driveway? These are facts. These are the things that happened. These were in the police report. Putting out a posting on Facebook, it's a shame it's not the good old days. What kind of world do we live in? I can't believe it. And I have that listing and I thought, and then the police have the audacity to file that? What are you doing, protecting Lehman's wife because he's a former, a former chief? I can't remember, I, I, I can't think but uh, back to one of the things on his review, why he wasn't, his contract wasn't renewed. And he had failed to file the proper paperwork within the proper time for one of his officers whose gun had discharged during off-duty. And there was a procedure and a policy and written documents that had to be filed. He failed to do that in the adequate time window. And guess what? There was no action taken against the officer. How do you explain that? Who is running the show around here? I was disgusted, as were many, many of my friends. My best friend is an attorney down in Kentucky. Been practicing law many years. He reviewed it and said, you got to be kidding. He said, this is a lawyer's dream. It's on videotape. It's there. There's nothing missing. It's all on the videotape. So my question to all of you is, and I challenge every resident, pick the phone up, call 731-2121, ask for Sergeant Daniels, and you ask him for an explanation. His last message to me was, well, put a FOIA request in for the documents. And that was the end of it. He doesn't want to hear from me. Why? You know, prior to my little battle with Mrs. Manzella about two weeks before, somebody tried to bust into my mailbox week and a half, two weeks before. Gee, I wonder, police report, what do they do? Nothing. What is our seconds. police report doing? Nothing. You know, explain it to me. I don't understand it. I've been, uh, you know, this, this whole situation, I know people that have come to the meetings. Mr. Turner was blocked out of the doorway trying to come back into one of the meetings a while back. This is how we run the show. I had Nick stand over the top of him with his fist in the back corner of the room with our, was then captain here, an officer sitting over there, and nobody saw the incident except Mr. Flynn and Mr. Wozniak. You know what was done with it? Zero. 
I get a smart Alec comment from the police officer that investigated it. Who is running the show around here? I'm Who is being held accountable? We got a real problem. Well, to answer your question, I'm, I am on a hook for everything that happens around here. And any uh, resident that has any questions, please come to me. You know where my office is, and I will be more than happy to sit down and uh, listen to the uh, facts and uh, act accordingly. As far as anyone coming into this meeting, if um, someone is not allowed or having a problem getting through those doors, all you need to do is let me know about it, and I will handle it. Any other questions? Or Mr. Chairman, other? that, that yes. is a very serious charge. Yes, it is. And I think the police department should be held accountable to make it known to the residents of this township what is in fact going on. Because that video is very plain as to what it shows. And these accusations are very strong and somebody should be held accountable for this. Thank you. Okay, thank Mr. you. Mr. Chairman, I have a comment regarding that too. Hold on, hold on. Switch to tape. Okay. Um, I had voided the uh, quest of the audio 911 tape, and, and that is, I think is a little bit clearer as to what really went on at that uh, scene. But not only did I FOIA that, I just received it. haven't been able to listen to it yet. Because I called the police because our signs were being defaced, not because anything else was going on, because at that point nothing was going on. Pulled up the plat map of Mr. Gennari's property and the possibility of facing trespassing charges, and there was no trespassing. Um, I have copies of the plat mat here if anybody wants to see it. That's a vacated alley. Uh, doesn't even have anything to do with Mr. Gennari's legal description. Um, he may have an easement to his property on it, but it wasn't recorded. He's not paying taxes on it. So there's a different way to look at both of them. Mr. Um, Ward, I don't know why this is, you got a dog in this fight again. Um, you've got a habit of um, lying about me and that certainly hasn't changed. Um, if uh, Mr. Canary or you have any questions, um, you know how to find me. I do not believe for one minute that Mr. Canary is being followed. Um, you know darn well I didn't mess with your mailbox. I didn't mess with Mr. Gennari's driveway. These kind of accusations are nothing more than lies. They're slanderous and malicious. I thought you learned your lesson last time we went through this. My advice to you would be stay away from me. And your comments should be kept to yourself. And you can tell your friend that too. And okay. it's um, Pastor, did you want to come up? 